Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and in this video I want to show how to lint Cypress tests using ESLint. So in my project I'm installing ESLint and ESLint plugin React because it is a React.js project. So while this is installing I'll look at the settings that I'm used to lint my code. So first a couple of extents ESLint recommended and then because this is a React project I will turn on plugin React recommended settings which makes ESLint, understand JSX and things like that. My application is running in a browser, so in order for, for the linter to understand globals like document, I'm telling it that the environment is browser. Because my application is using import and export, I also have to tell it this is ES6 uh, modules, so it understands import and export. So now with uh, React uh, linter installed. Whenever I say something like this, a linter will complain that I've declared a variable that's not used. Similarly, if I misspell something, I get warnings right from linter. Just a tip to make ESLint work inside VS Code, I use a plugin that you can install, and I also enable ESLint and also formatting on save. Okay. So we have ESLint working, but now we have a big, big problem. If we go to our Cypress specs, ESLint thinks that describes, Psi, and it are all undefined, and it complains about that. But we know that Psi is actually valid global variable. Our TS um, information tells it the actual IntelliSense. So what do we do about this? Just like we installed ESLint plugin React, we can install a dev dependency ESLint plugin Cypress, which comes from a repo that we made. That tells you how to use it, a couple of default rules. The easiest thing is to extend plugin Cypress recommended. So I'll go back to ESLint RC JSON and I will add plugin Cypress recommended. Now we go back to specs and everything is working and ESLint doesn't complain. But there are a couple of other rules inside this set of uh, ESLint rules. For example, by default, there is a rule that says no unnecessary weight. So whenever I try to hard code a weight for a thousand milliseconds, ESLint will say do not wait for arbitrary time periods great. Of course, this might be too strict. So what I can do, I can take this rule, no unnecessary waiting, and relax it inside ESLint settings file. So rules, and instead of error, I'll say warn. And now in my spec, I can say site wait. And so it will still warn me, but it will not fail the build. So this is how you configure ESLint and Cypress. 